Hello everyone, welcome to Certified Effect channel. Today we're gonna see how to use a joystick module to control this camera cradle as you have seen in my teaser video. So this thing is has like two servo motors and we're gonna control them using a joystick module. First I'm gonna disassemble this and show you how to assemble it. Uh, just like uh, little steps. So let's go. Uh, first, uh, before I forget, please consider a like and a subscribe to support the channel. Okay, now our camera cradle is disassembled. So before, uh, please before I continue watching, uh, if you haven't used uh, the joystick module, you can go back to my previous video about how to use it correctly, and also servo motors. If you're not familiar with them or something you can check my other tutorial too about servo motors so this thing comes like uh, disassembled those things are not included we have uh, like this uh, camera support or can cradle for it and then it comes with two servo motors this uh, SG9 I think SG19 sorry 90 and this support to fix it in a like a surface and where we can mount our like a uh, first servo then the other servo stick here and it comes in this little bag we have like uh, some uh, supports uh, some uh, servo uh, like uh, heads you know them but here they are not used we descend to also like uh, those uh, those heads to stick in your servo motor and where is the another the other one I think I here it is this is it we use those both so we're gonna use them with the, our Arduino here I'm using Arduino no? joystick module to control this and I have some jump wires and also my little breadboard this thing comes also with a lot of uh, screws, uh, some of them are really tiny. So here they are, they are screwed here. So first I'm gonna take uh, my servo motor, the first one here, and I'm gonna place it in this uh, support, let's say like this because we want the wire to stay in the in the back and I'm gonna wire this along with Arduino Uno and place it on 90 degree or position 90 you will see why so here as I said I screw with the screw here here sorry and this is my first servo motor and I placed it on the position 90 which is the middle of 0 and 180 those are the limits of the servo so I can place it like in the middle manually and I can screw it here if you want uh, for more stability so here so it can move from this side to this side and as you can see it moves this side a lot so I can reduce it like uh, a little bit now it's okay so first we let this uh, like that and we take the second servo motor second servo I will place like uh, oh I forgot so no it's okay I'm gonna place it in this thing uh, sorry I do this off the camera because uh, it's a little bit frustrating for me I'm not a handy man uh, sorry I forgot about uh, another thing it's better to position these uh, two like in the maximum position here and the maximum position here we're gonna take uh, one just for uh, reference maybe it's 0 or 180 I'm gonna try this uh, off and show it so why I do this off the camera so to not make the video long as, as I said, I'm just using here uh, some uh, positioning of the servo, which is uh, very simple uh, to use. And I place them either here or here to know the maximum that I'm gonna use. So I just place this like in the position zero, which is like the maximum for me here. 
and after I'm gonna fix uh, this it will go up to this position I'm, I'm gonna see what's the maximum position of this uh, tube so now I'm just gonna wire it like this and place some screws here and here to fix the servo motor and also a screw here to fix the servo motor with its head on the other uh, support and all the, uh, doing this we're gonna finish uh, our uh, like uh, screw and the mount of this uh, camera crack so here it is it's all screwed and now our servo can move like this this one is a little bit difficult to move but it moves we can modify our position if we want so this thing is now works good and we know how to move servos like if we write uh, other positions this thing will move now we're gonna pass to our joystick module so joystick as i said here we're gonna just use uh, the uh, x axis and the y axis so first and we have like ground and uh, 5 volt is wiring as we saw before i'm not gonna use the button so i'm gonna use like the x axis for the ser first servo motor which is uh, this one here like if i want to move it it uh, should turn here or here and the y axis i should f uh, wire it with this uh, servo motor and so as we said for the joystick module it con contains uh, sorry two potentiometer and we saw this potentiometer move from uh, 0 to 1023 and we saw like in our previous video that this thing move also from 0 to 1023 but we have different centers as they say like it's cheap things always uh, comes with problems so what we're gonna do is to move like from this this one to uh, sorry from the 0 to 1023 to 0 to 180 0 to 180 are the position of the uh, servo motor so I'm gonna move from 0 to 1023 to 0 to 180 for this we're gonna just do like a little uh, multiplication or uh, division I'm gonna let the code for you like in a link uh, in the description and we did this thing before so I'm gonna do it uh, now off the camera and I'm gonna also wire uh, my module so back again as i said like this is the how i got the value i hope it's uh, visible so now my joystick is wired i should wire my first servo motor this which is this one the one here which is uh, that moves horizontally and we're gonna unplug my arduino and wire it like I just got just have the wire already here okay our wiring is done and what I'm gonna do is just the value that I took from the analog uh, uh, stick here which is from 0 to 180 and I'm gonna put it like a servo dot write this that value which is x as uh, we saw uh, just before So here it is our first axis wired and everything and and you see it's moving nicely I hope you can see it all right so this is for me like the 
as I took the module uh, directly, uh, I placed it like toward me. If I didn't add it like the 180 minus X, it, when I turn here, it turns the other direction. It can happen to your one of your servo, and you just add the 180 just to calibrate it. Uh, not only 180, but the maximum value. So now this is okay. We're gonna see our like the maximum values of our uh, second servo. Uh, for this, I'm just gonna place like a series of uh, my servo right to know which is the maximum position here and the maximum position here. And I would like to have one of the maximum position either 0 or 180 so I don't do the work two times or something. And we're gonna wire our like uh, the Y axis. It's simple also, we're gonna wear it with the A1. So first I'm gonna try best position for my servo motor to like take it as a zero or 180 or we're gonna see what happened next. So I just wired my second servo. I hope you can see from this bunch of wire in the pin number nine. And all I did is I placed on the zero and as I said, I did this before. So it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have the zero here. So now we're gonna see what's the maximum value uh, the servo should be here. And I think it's not actually 180 like the other. It so we don't have problem, it will be like 150 or I don't know. Uh, now to do it, I'm gonna test it with, uh, as I said, a series of my servo right, a position. So now which position is the maximum. So I just test this, test this actually, uh, sorry, test it. And it's actually 150, which is maximum position here, from 0 to 150. So what I'm gonna do again to our uh, joystick module, it's instead of uh, moving from 0 to 1023, it will move from 0 to 150. That's it, like as the one I did before, I will do just like a little calculation, uh, 150 divided by 1023. And this time we're gonna multiply from like by 0 0.1466. Now my other uh, joystick uh, stick, which is the Y direction, is uh, calibrated to it's from like uh, from 0 to 150 because this thing move from 0 to 150. And we're gonna do the same thing to control this too. It's just gonna read the value given from here with uh, some little math from Arduino and it will be positioned on the other position and we're gonna show this here we are now we wired the servo motor number two you, can you see can you hear this little noise it's from the servo they're not they're not good actually so as i said this thing is calibrated too and the, uh, the uh, servo is wired everything is wired now I'm um, just using the Y axis, we just now we go to under. It looks like there's some problems. Let's see. I should change this here. Well, actually I have a lot of them. But this one came in the in the package, so I think it's it got a problem, maybe I don't know. Now what we're gonna do is assemble the two codes, it's very simple, just to keep the same library which is the servo and for the servos we declare servo1, servo2, we just merge everything and I'm gonna do it now. So here we are, I merged the two codes and I did some little tape here to stick this because it keeps falling and here we are. Oh, sorry. I let the, the ground the wire fail out. So here we have like our thing is moving.
pretty handy if you want to seek like a camera or a ultrasonic sensor or whatever you want laser or something so here this is for the first version what i call the first version is that the two servers follow the same uh, thing as the joystick if it's here they are uh, servo move here too if it's here it moves here too and if it's like this thing here like, like they follow the servo and for the other version I keep the same wiring for all of them but all I do is I will modify the code uh, sorry I will uh, plug out this because it's really noisy that servo motor this one has a problem so as I said I'm gonna just play uh, this time on the on the code so now when I press this I want this to keep like uh, punching down going down like this and if I press up it goes slowly up here it uh, follows the same thing like uh, but not the same position if it's like in the right it will go to the right slowly but if it's in the left it will go the left slowly you're gonna see in the example what I'm gonna do but as I said keep the same wiring the same everything all we're gonna to do is uh, uh, place them is uh, a code in a different code so here's the second version this is how it works when I move like on the right the things start moving on the right if I move to the left things start to move to the left and also for the other axis I did it move like really slow you can modify it in the code if you, if you want just here what we do is just we read the value from the like x axis or y axis if it's bigger than the, the middle it moves to a direction if it's low the, if it's uh, low than the middle if uh, it's the other direction like here as is in the x uh, direction the x like i have uh, so not to be confused because it is uh, it's not uh, pretty accurate so i did like the limits uh, very big so if the x like is bigger than uh, 550 it can move to this direction or it's less than 450 it moves to the other direction and doing this i did like uh, important uh, function of the servo motor which is uh, uh, the name of the servo dot read that read function permits you to read the previous position on this when I like move this it increments or decrements uh, the uh, a number and this uh, decrement get uh, this uh, new number we get is what we inject in our servo motor then it keeps like increasing or decreasing depending on you, this and all these things you're gonna see them in our codes and the wiring I'm gonna leave them uh, right below so that's this for the code and for like we just saw two versions which one follow the joystick and the other one uh, follow the move of the joystick I hope you like it I'm sorry if uh, this video was like a little bit chaotic because I actually got uh, I filmed a lot of modules but uh, unfortunately I lost the all the codes and the things I've worked uh, so long for please if you like this channel you can subscribe and uh, a like and if you all the things like i said wiring and uh, codes will be found in link right below thank you for watching and keep it up